Dr. Tan, some people are confused by different descriptions of who the Holy Spirit is. Will you give us a clear explanation for who the Holy Spirit is? The Holy Spirit is God personified in us now. Amen. He isn't a bird. He isn't That's a right. wind. That's right. He isn't a warm, fuzzy feeling. He isn't me falling on the floor. He isn't me getting up off the floor. He isn't me laughing or running or singing or dancing or anyone. Those all are my re response to the presence of the Spirit of God. But the Spirit of God is the personification, is the embodiment of God in us now. Now, when God is, everything about Him is as well. In other words, He couldn't be somewhere, and because He's God, He's everywhere. He couldn't be somewhere and yet leave a part of Him somewhere else. So the manifestations of the Spirit, we're talking about the nine manifestations spoken of there in 1 Corinthians 12 specifically. Because we have the Holy Spirit on the inside of us, they, we, not, we, we need not seek the gifts per se, as long as we recognize we have the giver. If I've got the, listen, I've got two boys, and because I'm their father, they have everything I have, and possibly more. <laughs> and possibly more. So when people wonder about, well, if I have this gift or if I have that gift, in a way, that's an unnecessary question because you have the giver of the gifts on the inside of you. Now, when you recognize what he's brought on the inside of him, uh, on the inside of you through him, well, then you have the opportunity to, to, to cooperate with that and flow with that. Because the anointing, the anointing and the Spirit of God are, 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 are God in moving in your life. And it requires cooperation. Now, this ties in perfectly uh, with the end time message that you all carry. Because when you look at, at, at Acts chapter 2, with the great outpouring of the Spirit of God, when Peter got up and preached by inspiration, 